Hey guys, it's me, DDP. I want to wish everybody a really happy holiday. Everyone knows that around this time of the year, because it's like our biggest sale of the year, which it is, we do some pretty over the top videos. But this year, we want to try doing it a little bit different. DDP Yoga is an eight year overnight success. And since then, 13, years we're coming up on and a lot of fitness companies that start out they hit that fad level and they get that explosion and then they're gone where I feel like we're just starting out the really the core of what we're doing is getting people to believe in themselves one of the biggest things I hear is it gives me confidence and then when you start to get a win and then a win and then a win you're not just changing your life you're on your way to owning your life, and that's what we really try to work with. That emotionally gets me, because when people come up to me all the time, and they're like, oh, bro, loved, loved your wrestling career, but what you're doing now, man, like, changing lives on a different level, like, you gotta really feel good about that. And normally, I don't really focus on that. I just focus on the person and where they're going and how they can help themselves be the best person they can be for themselves. So I really don't think about that a lot, but when I do, it does that. It chokes me up because it's so powerful. It started with Terry Lang, God rest her soul, the godmother of DDP yoga. She just passed recently. I helped her change her life and own her life. And eventually Arthur came through. Arthur Borman, a disabled veteran. I inspired one guy. He has inspired millions. And then it's gone on and on and on. There's so many people that are out there and putting the work in. And while they're starting to believe in themselves, they start to share it with others. And that's really, <laughs> what our core base is all about. Some of you will remember Butterbean. Hall of Fame four round boxer, man. He did every kind of fighting you can do and he was in a really bad spot. And then there was Scotty Riggs, who was one of the American males and he would be in Raven's flock. He was in a really, really dark spot. And both of those cats, both of them, changed their lives in such a short period of time and they are both so dramatic that it really is going to help people who really have lost all hope and think they can't ever change their life. Right now, you can start thinking about where you want to be next year at this time. It can be the best year you've ever had. Hope is never gonna be a fad. It's never gonna go out of style. People are always going to need it. And that's what we're all about. Helping you along the way to put the work in and inspire you to believe in you.